did she made a vow? It's called the contingent or the condition vow. That if Allah delivers, if Allah blesses me with this, if Allah protects me out of that, I shall offer two rak'ahs daily. She says, now if I can't, somebody told her that she can just fast for seven days or feed uh, seven poor people or one poor person for seven days. Is this true? No, this is not true. Number one, as far as the nazr, this is not the advised way to give nazr. Nazr is an act of worship. It's best to give nazr without a condition because it will not change the qadr. No one can bribe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying, well, if you do this, I'm going to do that. No. Rather, just make nazr that if you want to give, give something that you can afford, whether it's a charity, financial charity, or an act of worship in the form of fasting, or in the form of uh, uh, night prayer, or whatever. So it is best not to make it condition. What if you fail to fulfill the nether, whether the conditioned or the non-conditioned nether vow? Then it should be treated similar to the oath, al yaminul munaqida, which a person may swear to do something, then he fails to do it. Or swears not to do something, then he does it. In this case, the kafara number one, the ransom is to free a slave neck. Not available anymore. Then we we'll go to the next. The next is to feed ten masakin, ten poor people, if you can afford it financially. If the person is not financially capable, then we we'll resort to the last, which is to fast for three days. 